Rema today bring to you God's word growing in grace you can never be hello good morning God's people happy Friday morning thank God it's Friday I hope you had a wonderful week hallelujah Glory to God. It's time for Rema Today Devotion. And our topic this morning says, The Ministry of the Word. The Ministry of the Word. The Word of God. Glory to God. And our anchor scripture is from the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verse 2 and verse 4. It says, Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Glory to God. Now, this means that there are things that are more important than the other. Our anchor scripture shows that when the early church and apostles were confronted with the challenge of church administration, and daily di distribution of food among the saints, they rather prioritized the word. The ministry of the word and prayer was to them a priority. It was a priority and that should be a priority too. The ministry of the word and prayer. I mean, that is the core of our Christian faith. That is the source of our power. That is our, our distinguishing factor. The word and prayer. Now, it is important that you mind the things that come to take you away from the place of the word and prayer. The things that come to distract you from giving full attention to the word of God and prayers mark those things and let them not by enemies succeed in distracting you hallelujah now the, the apostles of old esteemed the ministry of the word above each each and other church activities now this is so important you know all of those are church activities to write sharing a, a distribution of food or the organization and administration administrative uh, work in the church and all of that but it's important to know that primarily you should give more attention to the ministry of the word and prayers not allowing the administration administering the things in church and all of that to take your attention away from god the apostles were left to choose between magnifying other church activities and engaging in the ministry of the word and prayer and without hesitation they made their choice and their choice is that they will give themselves over totally completely to the ministry of the word and prayer child of god you must understand that the ministry of the word is the most important ministry in life in the life of a believer and in any local church the ministry of the word and prayer must be given first priority if we are going to be all that god intends us to be and enjoy all the varieties of god through jesus christ it has to be through his word hallelujah the truth is that no matter what we do in services and fellowships the singing the praising dancing giving and all of that if we do not receive and maximize the ministry of the word we would leave the service empty-handed unfulfilled unimpacted without divine direction and purpose and that spells doom glory to God today you may be a worker in church you may be a pastor you may be in ministry you may just be a member please you may even be the one that is needing the food to be shared to please value and prioritize the ministry of the world above the benefits above the food above your own portion from the things that will be shared 
and then above doing services as a man of God, as a child of God, as a worker, prioritize the ministry of the word above the ministry even. It is so important. The word of God is God. Hallelujah. And the way you give attention to God's word tells God how much you value and respect his person. Glory to God. Beloved, when you attend services and meetings regularly and still notice that your life is stagnated, delayed, frustrated, disorganized, depressed, disfigured, defeated, it is an indication that you have not engaged and maximized the ministry of the word of God in those meetings you attended. Please don't be distracted with ushering, protocol. What are those things? Oh, those services we do in church. Don't be distracted by them. Give more attention to the word of God. It is only the word of God that produces results. It's only the word of God that makes you a different person. It's only the word of God that God will look at and do something in your life. Hallelujah. Listen, it is possible to come into God's presence and be excited, sing, dance, give, offering, and still go empty-handed, unimpacted, all because you didn't give attention to the ministry of the world all these other activities like dancing and all of that are good but the only one that will give you blessings the only one that will impact your life it is the word of god the ministry of the word that is the only thing that can deliver you deliver you from sickness setback manipulations and oppressions hallelujah praise the name of the lord it is only the word of god i love the way um Paul the Apostle put it in Acts of the Apostle. He says, I commend you to God, brethren. I commend you to God and to the word of his power, which is able, which is able to save you and deliver your inheritance to you among them that are sanctified. It is only the word of God that he will be able to deliver you and deliver also into your hands your inheritance it is only the word of god that saves and heals the bible says in the book of psalms 107 verse 20 it says he sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from all their destructions there are all kinds of destructions around us it's only the word of god that can deliver you and that word will not come to you if you don't come with rapt attention and receive the word into your spirit it is the word of god in your spirit that works in your life glory to god until the word is taught preached proclaimed and prophesied light divine direction guidance deliverance and healing may not be released and the purpose of God for your life and family may not be realized even though you prayed, sang, gave offering and did all the other ritualistic activities in church. This season the Holy Ghost is saying pay rapt attention to God's word. Pay attention to the ministry of the word. Never allow anything distract you why the word is going receive the word of god with meekness and simplicity delight yourself in the word and allow the word to take roots in you and bear fruits praise the name of the lord the word is the real deal the word of god is the real deal not your prayer not your fasting not your arms giving, not your offering, not your services in church, the word of God. You can do all of that. If it is not missed with the word of God, you will miss that miracle. I pray for you today. You will learn to give more attention to the ministry of the word and you see the word of God work wonders in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Rema today says, until the word is preached, taught, 
proclaimed and prophesied light, divine direction, guidance, deliverance, and healing may not be released. Now you pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for the entrance of your word. Today, I receive the grace to engage your word in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're not born again, you pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you a sinner. Today, I believe that Jesus died for me and I confess that he is Lord of my life. I ask that you forgive and cleanse me with the blood of Jesus and make me your brand new man in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. You just made that prayer? Congratulations, you are now born again. Don't forget to find yourself in fellowship so that you learn more about God and grow into a mature man in Christ. Do have a wonderful day ahead of you. The church is a spiritual barrack. If you enter the church, you refuse to join the end time army. Even inside the church, you still be oppressed. A civilian in a barrack is a civilian everywhere. David said, he teaches my hands to war. Most of us come to church. All you are looking for, touch me one more time. Oh Lord. That's only where they see you. When they say, mm -mm, you like that, that victim mentality. Lord, I'm here. If you leave me, they will crush me. My brother, you may die. You may die. God may leave you and they will crush you. Because you are not behaving like you have his DNA in you. You think every tear you share is what says there are some tears you share. Go ask in Jamaica, what kind of nonsense is this? Who even gave birth to this one? Who is pastoring this one? Who is even teaching this one? What are they teaching him? You know the truth? When you come in God's presence, God is more interested in teaching you than touching you. God is more interested in teaching you. You know why? God can touch you without teaching you. You go out again, devil will touch you again. You run back again. But when God teaches you, you don't need his touch. Rather, you become an instrument he used to touch others.